trying to run away. Gabby gets the Jingu off. One more right click to do the job. White Mon keeping watch as well. Should be able to feed a squad to their Monkey King. Still trying to juke Arctic Burn. Toss back. Great stalls from Xavius, but not going to be enough with the burn damage. And White Mon actually still finds it anyway, despite that the tree den. So, again, 0 to 7. So far, perfect from T1. Uh, Raging copping the. Tower damage to save that siege creep and Holden Brace comes out. It's gonna be an early push. Coil out. Only on to one. Only on to Carl. And Carl caught in the cogs, but still find that kill on to Ayu. They do find Raging Potato for their trouble. Keeping the face up, not to me early on. This fight toss out from Lelouch does connect on to Carl. Avalanche is all Gabby starting to drop low. Is taken away. Not Sumi and the Weaver. The Weaver weaving in and out. Baby. It's just working out. He shows up top and he gets it done. You gotta have a good game to get the Blink Dagger. Uh, you might want to fight this. Upshot. Up shot. catch up White Mon, isolating with Wyvern, but she still manages to fly away. Lelouch does get the Dream Coil onto Tree. Where's the follow up? Cuckoo, trying to drop this familiars down. Gabby's still around in the area. Still has the damage. Curse out onto Xavius to hold him back. But still managed to lose White Mon. Starting to drop a bit low, being chased down, not soon, getting the damage off, and now Gabby in the spot of danger gets tossed up. Does not manage to really maximize his Jingu yet, but still alive, not soon with a chase though. Does find him, but Carl cleans up in the end. Zay At least 10 seconds though. Yeah, they, they do have the blink up on Xavier, so maybe expecting a little bit of a toss play. Try to snipe that Aegis away. T1. So staying fairly clumped up in there. Natsumi can't try to scout. They've got good vision coverage on T1 send though. And they jump forward. Xavius with a toss back and the avalanche does kill off bridging. Great hook shot onto two. Catching Gabby at the back. Xavius still dropping low, is taken away, but force of BKB holding his ground. Gabby getting some good hits with a boundless. Time lapse is there to save. The dream call just to clean up White Mon. Two already gone, but the dieback in Xavius is there. So it does even out, and that could allow Polaris to clean up Roche. Force still has some good time on the EXO, not quite enough, and Carl spots it out, gets a stack in. Roche is about to fall. Force does get Aegis. Immediately loses it and sacrifices not soon. Force, second life, not gonna be able to do much with it. As the rest of T1 is there to clean up. And a lot of commitment from Man to jump in, Kuku goes in with the Orchid right onto AU. Nice save. Get a caught pack on force. But Gabby with the BKB still wants more. AU holding him back. Green coil out onto White Mon. Hook shot away for AU as White Mon starting to drop fairly low up front. And backline as well. Not so you trying to get some damage off. Carl with a BKB, not going to be stopped by the Avalanche, still keeping his Orchid out now after the time lapse. Natsumi is going to be gone, Force standing his ground, trying to sustain for the team. They find Raging Exchange, a tree for... Inching closer towards it for Natsumi. It's just level 20 as well. So that's a little bit more damage on the Geminate as well, plus 90 on that one. The right clicks are amping up. A T1, and they still maintain a 6k lead. They're the ones kind of working the math. They see Lelouch once more. Link forward with the Dispose and the Boundless. Do they have enough time? They do. Clean up Lelouch, stepping a bit too far on the puck. And they get a great curse out as well from White Bond, just holding down AU, but it's enough to find that kill jetpack to try and run away. And does hook shot down, so just drags him closer to the team, which allows T1 to jump on top of Zegas now. Cleaning sneaky, going into the high ground, knowing that Polaris will want to fight, and they spot them out. Great wards. Silence immediately out in AU. They get the stun onto Force as well. Avalanche to break off for now. Pots back in Gabby as well. BKB is ready to go. They are trying to fight inside. Trying to burst down White Mon for anything else, and they will find him. Gabby, way too low in the middle, is isolated in the cogs. Can't lifesteal true, and is down. He's dead, just a bit of out, out of position there. Great target prioritization, but they still find the leash. Two for three so far, not too many trying to hold this ground up front. Carl now, a massive beast in the middle. Cuckoo does fall. Xavius managing to force that way, not too Time lapse already used this quotes again from Raging, and the chain stuns from the familiars are enough. Only Xavius left. Carl looking for the captain now. Running in. Avalanche to stall just a little bit, but there's that dispose once more. A full team wide going away of T1. Like a five man coil with a cog that pushes them all out of the coil. That could actually be a thing, but. You know, it's like wishful thinking. And Gary just gonna go hit the, hit the back. Like, what are you guys gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do? Oh, here we go. This is what are you gonna do? Oh boy. Now, double eye of the storm just melts Savius immediately and melts these objectives. Carl can just go for the push now. All by himself. Doesn't need to wait for much more. 
damage is just one uh, jet attack just gets Sometimes. machine gun down. It doesn't last long at all. The rack's not gonna take too long as well. Fortify is out, but trying to get the lift back and he should be KB by force. Hook shot misses this time from AU close up. We'll get the cogs trap, but no follow-up. As AU falls as well. Another set of racks going the way of T1. They catch up to the hex. And he's just he's gone. No buyback in the weaver. He bought the Demon Edge. We catch Lelouch. Great dispose from Raging. No buyback as well for Lelouch.